why is this so true? Okay, so I just came home from a really long day of work, but I want to talk about this for just a minute. Um, so the comments in the original video are just mostly so vile and hateful, um, but those really don't bother me all that much because I've been experiencing fat phobia my entire life. I've got a pretty thick skin and I love myself. I'm really confident in who I am and in my body and in the way that I look. Um, but what really gets me are what I think are well-intentioned comments that say things like, well, hot guys sleep with fat girls because they don't care what you look like because they have all of the social capital that they already need. Which, no, <laughs> that implies that fat women still are not hot and that our bodies are either still just looked over or reserved specifically for fetishes. That's not the case. Fat women are hot. Let us be hot. Acknowledge it. I have to start this off by addressing the importance of what is going to be said is purely in response to subjects of these videos and in no way does this channel condone any kind of harassment. That said, ladies, keep in mind, the bulk of you demand men to be honest. Honesty is never a soft blow. It's just what it is. If you can't handle that, I suggest you stop watching this video right now. Queen. The reasons hot guys are easier to hook up with than average guys when you are a plus size woman is because A. Obviously, he is hotter than an average guy. B. Hot guys know you will pick them over an average guy, which, in their minds, they see plus-size women as more willing participants. C. Hot guys may erroneously think that hooking up with a plus-size woman will require less time or effort than a highly attractive slender woman. D. Hot guys tend to have a plan B for when their pipes are backed up and their main woman is not available. Hence, they pick plus-size women as their plan B. E. Plus-size women tend to take advantage of sleeping with a hot guy because they get less attention for men in general. So so if he is hot, they're going to tap him quick. As to this queen's comments that plus size women are hot and let them be hot, I don't see anyone stopping them from doing what they want. If she's referring to men in general not saying plus size women are hot, well, I hate to break it to this queen. Everyone is entitled to their opinion and preferences. Let me put it this way, ladies. Men don't tell her or other Western women in general who they need to be attracted to. Women are free to choose. In that same fairness, men are free to choose who they find hot. I don't doubt there are individuals out there that fetish size plus size women but that is the point to each their own moving on so i just finished work today i saw six clients and i'm gonna go live in a little bit and talk about this but i wanted it to reach more people you know many years ago my now ex-husband said to me if you ever get fat i'll leave you and i lived in constant fear of being left because weight's always been a struggle for me. And I spent most of that 16 years I was with him on a diet of some kind and not being happy. Today I saw a young woman who said that her boyfriend of four years said that he can't give her all his love because he doesn't want her to get too comfortable. I know not all men are pigs. I know there's a lot of great guys out there, but man, oh man, I run into the pigs. Again, ladies, you all want honesty from men, and like this queen's case, she got it. Oh boy, fam, now she's living in fear and not happy. Apparently, she wasn't that unhappy since she stuck around so many years. And please, don't hit me with the story of suffering on a diet for years. It is amazing how women will point out how men didn't make them happy because of the things they didn't do for them, while at the same time, claim they weren't happy because their man wanted them to stay in a healthy weight. And fam, yes, the CDC has a list of health effects of overweight and obesity. Link in the description. They didn't post that out of some type of shaming. They actually posted that to bring health awareness. Also, she said the guy who told his girlfriend, her client, he can't give her all his love because he doesn't want her to get too comfortable is an oinker of sorts. Ladies, can you please point out exactly how this guy is abusing his girlfriend and what exactly is keeping her from dumping him? Rhetorical question there, fam. That's like asking Mario, what's keeping him from telling Princess Peach, I'm tired of having to save you every couple of weeks. You know, think I suspect you are going over to Bowser's castle for him to uh, lay a pipe. Fam. The point is, take accountability for your choices. If you don't like diets and don't care about being at a healthy weight, then you should leave the relationship if it really doesn't make you happy. Queens, if indulging in comfort food a few times every week makes you happier than being in a marriage, then grab all your things, leave, and head straight to the nearest supermarket. You both will be happier that way. Moving on. Hey girls, it's Tiff, and here's how to date when you suck at dating. Okay. 
before we begin, you do not suck at dating. You've just been dating people that suck. Okay, stop listening to those gaslighting daddies that are telling you that you're the problem. You don't make the test easier just because they keep failing. One of the top ways to start having good dates with women that actually might be good in bed for once. Let's go! Okay, so the first thing you have to do is remember that you have nothing to lose. You already know you're that bitch. You're literally doing a favor by even gracing them with your time. One plus one might equal two, but you don't need any to complete you. You have to treat yourself like a private membership club and all these men are just on the wait list. Like it's time to put the go in Soho house. Okay, the next thing is to learn your dating style. Like, I don't know how to text. I turn into a silent film and I have no idea what to say. I'm like, bado be boop. So if a man wants to talk to me, you better book a fucking reservation at Nobu. Like, if you hate sports, tell him to buy you a Range Rover instead of taking you to the Rangers game. Never sacrifice your comfortability just to get a guy to like you. Lastly, you better not let anybody ever think they're too hot or good for you, okay? Just leave your ladder at home. Never put your date on a fucking pedestal. If you are not an ATM, never let these men withdraw your confidence or your energy. Never that you're bad at dating, just go on every date knowing that you're a baddie! Dang, Queen. The potty moth on you. Listen, I'm not passing judgment here, but men will express how a woman's demeanor and, to a certain point, her language can have either a positive or a negative effect on her level of attractiveness. And cursing like a sailor does not reflect an attractive civil tongue there, Coween. As for her points, you don't suck at dating, you just have been dating people that suck. Great way to point out the common denominator there, like saying one plus one equals three. She also said, remember, you have nothing to lose. Yeah, that can also mean you have nothing to offer either. You are literally doing them a favor by gracing them with your time. Exactly how did this Coween make a direct connection from having nothing to lose all the way to gracing them with your time? That's like a homeless woman with nothing to lose telling a man who invited her to lunch he is lucky she is allowing him to pay for her food. Private membership that puts all these men on a wait list and a reservation? Hmm. Him, 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 her, him, him, bodies, 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 bodies! Never let anyone think they are too hot or good for you. Wow, Coween, are you going to practice mind control now? With all that plus the diatribe, there is zero diet in my mind. This Coween's advice is pure gold. To who? I don't know yet. Ladies, this may trigger some of you. Comedy may be subjective, but cringiness is usually not. I mean, it doesn't take a whole lot to get the guy you like to pass on a date with you. And acting like a bat out of hell can do the trick. Moving on. A couple of weeks ago, um, I was at my friend's house for a party and there was a guy there who was like a friend of a friend and we really hit it off. Like I had so much fun getting to know this guy and just like talking and I like really felt like I could date this guy and a lot of my friends came up and were like, he's really, like it seems like he's really into you. So this week I was doing some light Instagram stalking as one should and he has like several photographs with women in smaller bodies and the places that my mind went instantly were just awful and I and I hate that they were my first reactions um again these were over a course like these photos were over the course of like 10 years and I instantly just felt like I wasn't attractive enough or desirable enough in my body for someone to want me and i hate that that was my first reaction was due to my size and my plus size body that i love i questioned my um desirability for this man ladies let me point out a question that the bulk of men who just saw this section probably said out loud if you really love your body why was your first thought a negative thought about your body now at this point i am sure there are a number of emotional explanations to answer that question that doesn't negate the fact a number of men will ask that same question this isn't about her believing in body positivity or not it's about the reality this young woman has faced when investigating the guy she likes past relationships and finding that she is physically different from the other women he has probably dated. Before we continue, this is something I want to bring up to you ladies. Men must be very conscious about themselves and work on improving themselves in order to attract the women they like. Men don't get the privilege of body positivity or phobia shaming. Women will reject men for the most simplest things. I want you ladies to keep that in mind while we listen to the rest of her story. Um, and I hate the fact that I was like, oh, I wonder if he'd be willing to date a bigger girl. No, like, I, I hate that idea of being willing to date. Like, uh, no. Um, and the fact that, like, I would even question my worth and what I would bring into a relationship be just because of three photographs over the course of 10 years. 
but like that's what fat phobia does to someone like that's these are the feelings that i have like really feelings i have based off of years and years of conditioning of being told that i'm not good enough that me and my body is not good enough and it's awful i'm so glad that i like recognized it and i can have that ability to like reset the mind but the fact that i even went there is devastating really really sucks and there it is, right there. The privilege of blaming everything on an external reason of a phobia. Ladies, have you ever heard a man say you have short phobia if you prefer a taller man? Have you ever been accused of having poor phobia if you prefer a man with a good job? Has anyone said you have bus phobia if you don't want to date a man without a car? Fam, does anyone else see what I am getting at? Women are allowed to say their preferences in men and as a double standard, if they fear or doubt a man will like them for a certain reason, they come up with a phobia or shaming label. You know what? I am, I'm gonna take a page out of this playbook. Ladies, if you don't invite this handsome gorilla out on a date, you need to look deep inside and face your pythicophobia. Phobia link in the description. Moving on. Plus size dating. Let's talk about it while I put some makeup on. First off, let me start by saying that dating is hard and a very vulnerable thing, no matter what size you are. Let's start even before you go on a first date, right? The hype leading up to it. You constantly fixate on are they going to think I'm fat? One thing I've learned that's helped me switch my mindset with this is that just like you have a type, you are somebody's type. Let that sink in. Which I understand is hard to come to terms with because we've been told our whole life that our body is not lovable. When I was dating, people would always tell me, don't think about if they like you. Think about if you like them. Like, I don't want to hear that. To me, that wasn't helpful in any way because you physically cannot help but worry about if they like you. You're dating. So far, this queen has been the most upfront about plus size dating. That is the most positive take I have heard on this audit. To her point, just like you have a type, you are somebody's type. I agree with that as long as we can all accept that does not translate into the majority. Ladies, it is logical for a man who is five foot five or 165 centimeters tall to accept that there are women out there who will accept him, but the bulk of them will prefer a taller man. Body size is in the same ballpark. Whether we admit it to ourselves or not, men and women have to improve on themselves. If you don't believe that, then why is this young queen applying beauty enhancers to improve her looks? I'm going to share some things that were actually helpful to me when I was dating. Make sure they have seen some form of you that's most up to date. Whether that's like a picture on your dating profile that's full body or on FaceTime before you go on the date. For me, that just took some pressure off because it's like you already knew what I looked like before I got there. Also, this might seem super simple, but wear a color that does not show sweat you're going to be nervous and you're probably going to be sweating and the last thing you need to worry about is if your sweat stains are showing and one last thing the size in your jeans is the least interesting thing about you I like the content she showed here. As to her tips, an updated pic of you is probably common sense, but I understand what she meant as to make sure your pics are angled to show how you currently are so there is no waste of time. Color that doesn't show sweat. What, are you going to dress up in a gym suit for a date? Just say loose dark clothing. It's less cryptic and more to the point. The size in your jeans is the least interesting thing about you. Here is the part where I am going to sound like a total jackass, but I will challenge women to prove me wrong. If most men should look past your jean size to get to know you, then why don't most women look past a man's height or job title to get to know them? No, that's a lot of damage! I'm just saying. If you agree or disagree with anything about this audit, please let us know in the comments. I'm going to leave this audit right here. I'll see all of you in the next episode.